Okay, so this right here is what we call the difference quotient. F of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So, if our f of x is negative 2x minus 7, I'm going to start by finding out, okay, well, what is f of x plus h? So that means I'm going to take my f function and I'm going to replace the x with x plus h. Okay, so I took my f of x and I replaced the x with a, x plus h. And then I'm going to simplify. So that's negative 2x minus 2h minus 7. Okay, so here comes my difference quotient. Alright, so it says take f of x plus h. We just found that. That was, let me try and keep it color coordinated here. Negative 2x minus 2h minus 7. <coughs> We're going to subtract f of x, which is negative 2x minus 7. And it is all over h. Because that's just, that is, that is what the function is. Okay? But we got to simplify. We got to simplify. It's not just about plugging in. We got to simplify. So, uh, we've got negative 2x minus 2h minus 7. We've got to distribute that negative. So, that becomes plus 2x plus 7 all over h. So, we've got negative 2x plus 2x. Uh, those cancel. We got negative 7 plus 7, those cancel. So we're left with negative 2h over h, and yes, the h is canceled, but I do want you to take the step to show me where it's negative 2h over h. So this difference quotient is equal to negative 2. Uh, not always. Not always. Okay. Um, now, you'll know what negative 2 equals if you take my class next year. Just a little, you know, plug for my class. Huh? No, you gotta wait until next year. Because I want y'all to take my class. <laughs> Why can't you take my class? Oh, because you're a senior. Then you'll find out you will forever be held in suspense. No, you'll find out when you take calculus in college. Gross. What? No. No. It's not gross. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, let's try a quadratic. Okay, that was a linear function. Let's try a quadratic. Okay, so f of x plus h. We got to replace our x's with x plus h. And keep everything else the same. So we got x plus h squared minus 4 times x plus h plus 7. Simplifying here takes a little bit more work, right? We got to foil x plus h. So let me write this one out, okay? Let me write this one out since we've got two variables. I think y'all can figure it out, but since we've got two variables, I'm going to take an extra couple of steps here. I will go ahead and distribute the, the negative 4, okay? I do look at that as distributing a negative 4. It helps prevent issues with the negative, okay? Okay, now, when we FOIL x plus h times x plus h, we get First, the first two terms give us x squared like they always do. Okay, the outside gives us x times h. The inside gives us x times h. So we have two x times h's. And then h times h is h squared. So x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And I'm going to get tongue tied at some point in time in this problem. I can feel it. <coughs> Thank you. All right, that's all the simplifying that we can do at this point, okay? Because we don't have any other like variables um, to, to combine, okay? We've got an xh, but you can't combine that with just x's or just h's, okay? So that's as, that's as much simplifying as we can do here.
Okay, so here's our difference quotient. If you want to abbreviate that DQ, that'll be your time limit. It does not mean disqualified, it means. And uh, the, well, let's put a positive spin on it. You get to go to the DQ if you do it right. I'm not paying for it, sorry, bro. You can go over there tonight and reward yourself. That's me, right? I shouldn't say that. Um, I do have the discount card where you can buy Blizzard, give a Blizzard free. So you can go with Buddy and borrow my card and, you know. All right, so difference quotient is f of x plus h. That's that blue expression we just came up with. Minus, you've always got to make sure you put this in parentheses because that negative has to be distributed. Okay, that negative has to get distributed. If it doesn't, you will not get the right answer, and that is all over H. The black is the minus F of X. All right, so when we distribute that negative, are you all okay if I distribute and cancel at the same time? Is that okay? Because when we distribute it, we got a positive X squared at the beginning, we got a minus X squared at the end. That goes away. Okay, uh, the 2xh stays. There was nothing to cancel that with. The plus h squared stays. We got minus 4x and then a plus 4x when we distribute that negative, so that goes away. Our minus 4h is still here, and then we've got 7 <coughs> minus 7. That goes away. So all over h. Okay. Do I need to go back over how I ended up with just three terms out of that line right before? Are we okay with that? If you need to take an extra step to distribute the negative, that's fine. Okay. Now, there's one more thing that we can simplify here. They all have H's, but here's how I want you to start looking at it from this perspective because it prevents you from making as many mistakes. All the terms on the top have an H, so I'm going to factor out an H from those terms on the top. So we've got h times 2x plus h minus 4 all over h. And so then we can cancel the h that we factored out with the h on the bottom. So this final answer is 2x plus h minus 4. Okay. Well, if you can't do this, if, if, one, if this was missing that H, yeah. you wouldn't be able to simplify it. You, you would just stop right there. Okay? Yeah. But I promise you, if you do it right, your H on the bottom is always going to cancel. Okay? If you do these right, your H on the bottom will always cancel. Okay? Y'all just did two calculus problems. You should feel smart. Yeah. Okay.